A memorial is being held in the German town of Mannheim for a police officer who was killed in a knife attack last week. The officer was stabbed when he intervened as a man started attacking people at a rally held by an anti-Islam group. The attacker stabbed a total of six people before he was shot by a police officer and detained. Authorities have identified the suspect as a 25-year-old man from Afghanistan who came to Germany 10 years ago and say they believe an Islamist motive was behind the knife attack. They have yet to interrogate the suspect. I'm joined now from Mannheim by DW reporter Franziska Wurst. Franziska, a solemn occasion today in Mannheim. Walk us through this morning's memorial event. Yeah, this day is dedicated to the police officer who died, especially here in Mannheim. I'm standing on the marketplace, the scene of crime from last week. Actually, right behind me, you can see several police officers remembering their dead colleague. They just came and before that, we had a minute of silence. The Germany, uh, Germany's president came here to lay down flowers with um, the family members of the dead officer. It was actually not only a minute, but several minutes I was standing in the middle of the crowd and next to me there was a man I saw tears in his eyes so the mood here in Mannheim is very somber as you can imagine and the killing of this officer by a suspected attacker from Afghanistan has also reignited a debate about migration and asylum in Germany can you tell us more Yes, exactly. This um, has triggered a huge debate in the whole country, actually, because uh, the authorities suspect an Islamist motive behind the crime. So the debates are um, primarily about how to deal with Islamist extremists here. Should there be harsher punishments? Should there be harsher laws, especially regarding migrants who have come to Germany and commit crimes here? Can they, uh, can they be deported back easier to countries like Syria or Afghanistan, where this attacker is coming from? Because because these countries are considered not safe. So this is a very, very tricky question politically, but also legally. And every case actually has to be assessed individually. And have police learned more about the possible motive behind this attack? So far, we can only say that they suspect an Islamist motive. The attacker, as I said, came from Afghanistan in 2014. He was married to a German uh, woman. He has two kids here. He wasn't known to the authorities and um, actually was considered fully integrated. So basically, there are two big questions here now. How uh, did he become radicalized? How can we prevent this in the future? And why did this happen? We'll leave it there for the moment. Franziska Wurst reporting from Mannheim. Thanks so much.